What's up, guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out the Cool Pad Legacy. So this is an interesting phone. Uh, it's a hundred bucks, and it's got some pretty good specs. Uh, is this the best one hundred dollar phone you can get? Uh, so let's go ahead and find out. Uh, so it does have a six point three six inch full HD display, so it is ten eighty p. You do have thirty two gigabytes of storage, uh, three gigabytes of RAM. Um, you do have the Snapdragon four fifty processor, I believe. And uh, you have dual cameras on here, a uh, 16 megapixel and a 5 megapixel main. Uh, you do have a 13 megapixel front facing camera and Android a uh, 9.0. Uh, so, like I said, the uh, cool thing with this phone is uh, you have a almost 4,000 milliamp battery, a uh, 3,980, and that is uh, pretty nice. So for 100 bucks, uh, this looks a little bit better than the Samsung Galaxy A10e. Uh, so let's go ahead and find out. They make these boxes so hard to get into, so let's see me struggle with this. Alright, we got it open. So here is the box. Cool pad. Very simple. White box. Let's go ahead. Alright. This is a pretty nice size phone. Let me dump that to the side. See what else we get in here so we do get a wall charger and does this have USB type C it does it does have USB type C this is a crazy thing about this phone the Moto E uh, you can watch that unboxing did not have USB type C it was $150 it's crazy this has USB type C makes so much sense we got little beads here and we got the sim injection tool right here so let's go ahead and get the plastic off very nice the back on this phone look at that it looks very nice I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks very nice it's got sort of like a a, a fake kind of carbon fiber look but looks very nice this does not look like a $100 phone at all let's see if we can power this on All right, so let's just go around the device. Yo, this phone looks very, very nice. All right, so on the bottom, we have uh, USB Type-C. We have the speakers is what that looks like. And on the side, we have the power button volume rockers. On the top, we have the uh, headphone jack. And on the back of the phone, we do have a fingerprint scanner. And we have those dual cameras with the flash. So my first impressions of this phone is very, very nice. Uh, for a hundred bucks, it feels nice. Uh, we got the front-facing camera, and uh, maybe this might act as a speaker too. This front-facing one right here it looks pretty big, so this might have some kind of dual speaker setup going on. We're just gonna have to find out. But um, let me go ahead and set this up, and uh, yeah, we'll run through it. All right, guys, we're all set up, and I really love the display. I love how this phone feels in the hand. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about that fingerprint scanner real quick. Uh, so it is pretty fast. I'm going to show you guys. It's right here. Pretty fast, 400 bucks. This also has Face ID, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the phone. And you can see it open. Not the fastest, but you know it's fast enough. So those do work. Uh, I recommend probably just using the fingerprint scanner. Uh, so it is running uh, stock Android 9.0. Uh, if you see any like bad lag, I am uh, still installing applications. But let's go ahead and just run through uh, the toggles real quick. See if we got anything special going on with this phone. Uh, so we got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, battery saver. Uh, nothing really special. Do not disturb. Flashlight, airplane mode, mobile data, screenshot. Uh, so we got normal screenshot, or we can do a regional screenshot. And. Uh, yeah, nothing too special on here. We got night light on here. Let's see what else do we got? Invert colors, and that's pretty much it. So they didn't add anything really to uh, this guy. So let's go ahead and check out these settings real quick. Uh, this phone does not have NFC. We got your uh, VPNs on here. Bluetooth, nothing here. Battery. And with 4,000 milliamps, you should get about two days of battery life. So that's why that was a uh, kind of a shock to me. 
that this phone had that such a big battery size. Uh, 32 gigabytes of storage. I did install a lot of applications, uh, so I have 17.77 gigabytes left. Nothing in here. I usually check for like Dolby Audio, anything special, but nothing uh, so far. Ambient display for new notifications. Wake screen when you receive notifications. So we do have that on here. Uh, we can change the uh, screen saver clock. Adapt the brightness. So nothing too special going on. They really kept this phone bare. Uh, like I said, you have your fingerprint scanner or face unlock. And uh, we do have Android 9.0. Let's go ahead and uh, check that out. Yeah, so Android 9. Right out of the box. Very nice for 100 bucks. So I want to talk about the performance with this phone so far. It's very, very smooth. So as you can see, I'm not getting any lag with this guy. And uh, what I love about this is we do have the Google Now. I use this a lot, so it's really nice to have this in a $100 phone. And you can see it works pretty well. I'm not getting a whole bunch of lagging when I'm scrolling through stuff. Uh, so I really, really like that. Uh, so I want to go ahead and jump and test out the speakers. And we're going to find out if these uh, firing speakers, these dual speakers are actually dual speakers or if it's fake. Or if we're going to have sound coming out of here. And while we're doing that, we can also test out the display of the phone. It is a full 1080p display. Very, very nice. It looks really great. So I'm going to turn it all the way up. Yeah, guys, so it's just coming out of one speaker. Nothing coming out of here. So kind of unfortunate I was hoping for but uh for a hundred bucks these speakers sound great I mean I'm not getting any uh I'm not getting any buzzing sounds no harsh hisses or anything like that sounds great really really nice let's go ahead and check out some multitasking with this guy so we got a split screen so we're gonna play that Dragon Ball Z video and we're gonna try to boot up Amazon and see if we get any lag So, no lag. Very, very smooth scrolling. So, I'm very impressed. For 100 bucks, you would think you were getting a crap phone. But this phone is actually pretty decent. I mean, I'm not getting any lag whatsoever. Let's try to bring up something a little bit more intense website. GSM Arena. This has got a little bit more stuff in it. So, we're not getting a whole bunch of lag. So we had a little bit of stutter, that's why I said a little bit of stuttering, but as you can see, once it once it boots up or loads up, it's like almost lag free. Alright guys, I'm going to be testing out a little bit of gaming on this phone. Uh, we got this Pokemon game booted up, and uh, I will be doing another video for PUBG and Asphalt. But let's go ahead and check this out. I just seen it in the store and figure out what it was. This is brand new to me. I'm, I'm. Last time I played Pokemon was on the Game Boy. Alright, so I'm not getting any lag. This game has some pretty decent uh, graphics on it. It's not the craziest, but not getting any lag when gaming, so the processor is fine. <laughs> now, we're in the camera right now, so I'm going to go ahead and show you around. Uh, so, we have video on here. Uh, we do we can turn flash on. It shoots in 1080p. We have slow-mo, and we have uh, panorama. Uh, we can go over here. Uh, we have the geotag. If you don't know what geotag is, it's pretty much tagging your location. If you don't want to be uh, followed 
uh, you might want to turn that off. Uh, shutter sound, you have uh, AI mode, assistive grid, and you can change the resolutions for the back and front camera. Like I said, all 1080p. If we click on photo, we have HDR, we have the timer, the flash, and then we have uh, the little uh, filters you can do, play around with, and see if it changes everything. And um, see what else we got, slow-mo and panorama. Let's click on that, the same thing. Uh, so you do have dual cameras on here, so you are going to have that portrait mode. And to my surprise, you have a night uh, shot mode on a $100 phone. So I'm going to go ahead and test that out uh, when it gets dark. Uh, so I'll make a separate uh, camera test video for all of you that are curious about that. Uh, but look at the pictures I took. Um, as you can see, this is the portrait one. And that's pretty nice. As you can see, it got everything uh, pretty much blurred perfectly around the mic. Look at the uh, you know action figures in the background or the Funko Pops. And you can see very, very nice, very nice in detail, very sharp. Um, so the camera, uh, just the regular camera, it takes decent photos. It's nothing that's going to blow you away. As you can see, uh, the photos are a little soft, uh, lack a little bit of detail. But overall, it's pretty nice. If you get it in good lighting, uh, it's, it's a decent camera. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, so I'm going to test out that um, night sight or a night, night shot mode. And uh, that should be pretty interesting. But for $100, uh, it's a decent camera. So, so far, I think I'm going to go ahead and say it. This might be the best phone you can get for $100, period. Um, it's just awesome. You got stock Android, Android 9.0. This thing is not lagging like crazy. You saw me put it through the multitasking test. Um, it's just, you know, it doesn't lag. Uh, I play games on it fine. I will uh, download. I have PUBG and Asphalt. I'm going to go ahead and do it in a separate video. But, you know... I expected to do fine with that and uh, it does everything it's supposed to do a full 1080p display as you can see it's an IPS panel so it's not washing out in color and uh, it's big it looks nice I really like to type on this thing uh, typing my typing accuracy is really good on this phone uh, since you have sort of like the wider aspect ratio um, it's this phone's a beast uh, it's it's nice man I was not expecting it to be uh, this nice this fast this fluid uh, didn't come with any bloatware it's just a very nice phone so if you see this in the store uh, for 100 bucks this is going to be the phone to go with it's really nice like I said uh, you know I can't hype it up anymore uh, it's just a it's just a nice phone the, the fingerprint scanner on the back works really fine and the uh, face unlock works actually pretty decent uh, it was working a little bit better now I think because of the camera so as you can see it's a little bit faster now so this phone's a beast uh, hardware wise you know and if you break this phone you know it's a hundred bucks so if you need a you know a throwaway phone or a secondary phone uh, or whatever uh, this phone is going to be a really nice option. Uh, so thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.